Hey guys, it's Lisa with the Sales Vision 100 video challenge. This is video number 62, I think. Video number 62. And I hope everybody's doing great, having a great weekend. And uh what did I want to say? Wow. All right. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to do something with you guys today, um, a tutorial. I had been talking about iPhone photography and, and different things I would be showing you. Just something simple today. I wanted to show you um, with, with your iPhone or with any mobile phone probably, um, why a lot of times it's better to make a video than to actually try to capture photos, um, especially, you know, if there's movement going on, because if you make a video, you can actually break it down and get individual photos from it. Whereas if you take a photo, you might not catch it at the right moment. And then you might wish that, that you got a video of it. Um, with, with the iPhone, we have live photos, which are great because it captures two seconds or three seconds prior to when you take the picture so that the photo is like kind of a mini video, like a three or four second video. And when you press down on the photo on the camera roll, which I can show you that, um, let's see. For example, in my camera roll, if I look at say, all right, one of these photos, and when I press it down, see that? That's like a live photo. And it has sound too. That wasn't the best one to do. Let's see. Uh, why is there no sound coming out? Let me see here. Maybe there wasn't much sound going on at the time. Let me see. I gotta find something decent. Uh, let's see. I don't know why it's not so loud. It must be because I'm doing the screen shot. I can hear it, but barely. But anyways, um rather than than doing that and and you might have wanted like say a long video it's better to just take a long video or to just take a video because you can break it down later and get individual snapshots exactly where you want it um just to show you what you can do with the live photos you can do a loop which is continuously replaying that live photo okay or you can do what we call a bounce which is forwards backwards sometimes you can get some funny videos with that like i do some with my cat you know and she'll like be like taking a step or something and then it's like back and forth back and forth it looks like a little dance it's pretty funny okay and whoops and then lastly the third thing you can do with a live photo is long exposure which is good with water like a waterfall and stuff um long exposure makes the water like real smooth and uh sometimes the photo works out good sometimes it doesn't but those are the three things you can do with a live photo so then back to the live photo and then of course with the live photos you can always convert them to a video but it's still, it's gonna be a three or four second video. Um, or you can do it as a GIF, a GIF also. Okay. But what I really wanted to show you was what to do with a video. Um, say I just took a video like right, hmm. let me go into my videos. Okay, videos. Okay, say this video right here. It's a, a minute and 18 seconds. It was really pretty. There's a lot of good shots. 
And, oh, you know what? <laughs> My mute was on. Did you see that? The lines, <laughs> that it was mute. That's why I didn't get sound. All right. So that's a video I took. Instead of snapping a whole bunch of photos, I took a video. Now say I want to do something with this video now. I want to get individual photos. So, all right, select. I'm going to select this. And I want to go to an app called Video to Photo. See, Video to Photo. And wait for it to load. See, my internet is always slow. Oh, I can't stand it. I mean, this is only a one minute video in 16 seconds and look how long it's taken just to get into, just to bring it up in this app. And that icon right there is is for video to photo and that's exactly what it looks like so if you go into the app store the iphone app store and they may have it for android too i'm not sure but it's called video with the number two photo let's go but there's a bunch of other apps that do the same thing like still shot is the name of one snap still you're basically you're breaking the video down into still shots and for instance this video of a minute and 16 seconds, you will be amazed at how many still shots you can get out of this video. And then you can go through each one and pick what you want to save as a photo. It's really pretty cool. So instead of having, you know, a hundred photos, you got this video and you can grab a hundred photos out of it if you want, or just the right photo that you want. And I like it better than the burst mode because you do the burst mode and like, yeah, you get like a hundred photos in a few seconds, but if you want to play it all together, like a continuous activity, it, you can't because it's not a video. They're burst photos. I mean, you can put them all together, but I don't know how smooth it would be. So this is a nice smooth video and I want to get some still shots out of it. And you don't have to worry about if you took a few shots and they came out blurry because we're gonna have hundreds of shots to choose from here. Okay, let's go, come on. Mm -mm. Okay, loading the video. Okay, here we go. And just to show you, wow, that one minute and 16 seconds is 4,534 individual still shots individual photographs if you wanted that many so you can't beat that then you can um you know you can scan and find like the perfect shot or you can go one two three four like that do it slow if you don't want to miss it like say you want to get the perfect part of that sun reflection and you're afraid if you go like that, you're gonna miss it. You just do it one at a time. If you're indecisive like me, it kind of stinks because I save so many of these, but say, say this is the one you want. So what you would do is tap on it, brings it up as a photo. Um, okay, create in Photos app. You can do that. You can email it to somebody. You can copy it, print it, um, export multiple photos. That would be like if you had, I guess you can do a bunch of them before exporting it, but let's see, create in photos app. Okay, it exported it out to my photos. Let's see. Oh, I don't wanna close this out yet, so I won't show you yet, but um, Okay, let's see. And if you see this play over here, if you want to just play the video, it's, I think it's playing, you know, it's playing pretty quickly and then you can like s stop it here. Okay, and then try to find the right spot again that you want. And let me see what this does actually. Okay, makes it larger or smaller. 
And if you go like this, okay, that makes it larger or smaller. Okay, let's see, I forget, I haven't used this in a while. Okay, say so tap on this, and then I don't export it yet, okay? I go back to this, which brings me back to the video, and I find a couple other shots. I like this one, okay, then go back to the video, moving around, I like this one, okay, back to the video, and I find, say, one more, this one. And now, export multiple photos. I guess that gives some information on it. You can crop the photos a certain way. You can change it to JPGs or to HEIC, which is a compressed formula, so it'll take up less room on your phone, or a PNG, um, which I think is higher quality than the JPG. Okay, and then add a time code. What does that do? Oh, it puts the time right at the bottom of the photo. Okay. Time interval, select frame. Frequency, every frame. I don't know what that is. That might be if you wanted to do every frame. But if you select frame, it brings you back here and you'd be selecting the different, you know, frames that you want. You can save them as files to create in files app and then export. Okay. Let me just go back for a second. Um, if you open in, it gives you your extensions again. So say you wanted to open it in camera plus or you're sending it to, to camera plus and then you'd have to open camera plus to do the edit or you're opening it in let's see and see up there it says how much space it takes up say you want to open it in big photo which is an app that helps you change the size and you can see how many megapixels it is, okay? So you go to information, it tells you all the details and you say, ah, oh, you know, that's only two megapixels because it came from a video. Normally they're 12 megapixels. So if you go over here, I can change the size and over here which is I think the maximum size and see it made it 12 megapixels resize and save to photo camera roll okay so it made it like a normal size instead of being like the extended height from the video and it's 12 megapixels and now it's 16 megabytes which I don't really want to have that large a picture taking up space on my phone because it's already full but okay that's that guys um i don't know how long i've been doing this for let's see let me go back to my photos okay close okay so then we go down to the photos and it's uploading items so here we go. Here's two of the ones that I had uploaded. And there I go, I got a photo, then I can go into editing it. But we'll do that another day, editing the photo, okay? Let me get back to screencast and see how long we've been doing this for. I'm not sure. All right, well, we'll end it with that for today. I hope you got some value from this and have a great day i love you guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel get your friends to subscribe to my channel smash the bell so you get notified when new videos are coming up and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and got any value of it and leave me some comments tell me some things you want me to do tutorials of um to show you on the channel okay have a great weekend guys love you